Yo, what's going on guys? This is Win, and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking all about the Apple Vision Pro and gaming. So after the unboxing video yesterday, so many of you asked if this headset is actually good and fun for playing games. And that's exactly what we'll be taking a look at in today's video. Now, for all the different games that can run on the Vision Pro, I like to break them down into three categories. The first one are the actual games that were made for the Vision Pro. And these, of course, just released yesterday when the headset released. Now, the second category are iPad and iOS apps that are compatible with Vision OS. Now, most apps actually run in the Vision Pro. Unfortunately, though, some devs, they actually went in manually and turned their games off. So you won't see those on the App Store. Big ones like COD Mobile and PUBG Mobile, unfortunately, they went in and turned them off. So we won't be able to play games like that. And really the best games for the Vision Pro when it comes to iPad and iOS apps are the ones that support controller. For obvious reasons, you're playing the games on this giant hologram. You can't really be looking at the device or what you're doing with your fingers. So having a controller input is probably best for these types of games. Now, the third and final category are ones like cloud gaming, PC games with like Steam Link and playing on a Mac and then mirroring the Mac into the Vision Pro workspace. So those are the three categories. We'll be testing out titles from all the different categories and we'll be starting off with the first one, Vision Pro games that are actually made for the Vision Pro. Okay, notes and rails. Oh, whoa. <laughs> All right. Catch the notes and ride the rails, matching their color to your hands. You can customize the colors at any time in the game settings. Right is pink, left is blue. Whoa. <laughs> Why am I mic? Whoa! Oh my god, this is like an arm workout. <laughs> this is sick. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Am I even doing this right? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, <gasps> bro, my shoulders! <laughs> oh my god, that was an arm workout. All right, I do have to say though, let's just talk about this real quick. The tracking of the hands was so good that it makes me think. What could future games possibly have? Like, we could be doing archery with the hand tracking being that good. You know, we could have like an Iron Man where like I have the Iron Man suit and I'm like, doo, doo, doo. we could really have so many games with how good the hand and arm tracking is. That was wild. All right, just for the lulls, let's do like the hardest possible song ever. I wanna let you know to the end of the night. That's like some aerobic stuff. Oh, they're too close. I know. I know. That's okay. Super Fruit Ninja. Slice to begin. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Hello there. I am Sensei from the land of Fruitasia. Void slicing bombs. Okay. Mm hmm. I didn't hit the bomb, bro. Mm. Wow. Mm. Well done. I think you've earned your first ninja belt. Oh, yes. Mm. I'm ready. Oh, hell no. What? Okay. Wait, what did I do? Did I get it? Oh, that's a berry blast. I see. I don't know what I did, but we used it. Got it. Boom. Perfect. Okay, for the next category of apps, we're going to look at iOS and iPad apps that are compatible with the Vision Pro. Let's go into the compatible apps folder and you'll see we already have a bunch downloaded and these will work pretty well, even though they're not natively made for the Vision Pro. One of them is Rocket League Sideswipe. Now, Rocket League Sideswipe is one of the few games that I believe is actually better played with a controller. So first, let's open up the settings, go to Bluetooth, and all we need to do to put this controller in pairing mode is hold down these two buttons for a few seconds. It should start to flash. 
DualSense wireless controller. We're gonna pair that and it's connected. It literally is that easy. Now let's open up Rocket League Sideswipe and take a look. For these compatible apps, even though, like I said, they weren't made for the headset, as long as it can open up in Vision Pro like this, we still have the ability to use our gestures and our touch controls, which is pretty crazy if you ask me for a day one feature. We can open up the settings and you guys will be able to see uh, game settings, graphics, because this is such a strong headset, we're gonna be playing on max frame rate, high quality presets, all that good stuff, but we still have our controller that works and we can take this to the next level. We can make this be the big screen and while we're at it, why don't we get teleported away to a remote desert? Sounds good to me. All right, let's hit play. All right, here we go. <laughs> you can't really see my controller, but it's there. Oh my God, dude, we are owning this kid. Neymar who? Easy. Like how big can I make this? Oh, like big, like big, big. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, he's getting me. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Now look, we could also just, you know, bring it up nice and close. We could go like super high quality, you know? This is also kind of fun too. Left. All right, we got to lock it in. We got to lock it in. Oh, what the hell? You're kidding me, dude. Dang, man. But hey, that was pretty sick, dude. Yo, what the heck? This looks just like T3 Arena. Battle. Okay. I have no idea what this game is. Oh, yeah. What is this map? Oh, this is cool. Three, two, one, go! Pac-Man, Link. Oh. Oh no, no! Oh. oh my God. Yo, I can totally see people getting hooked on this game. Boom, let's go. Yo, this game is sick. I literally hadn't heard of this game until like 30 seconds ago. All right, for the final category of games, we're gonna talk about PC games that you can either play on Mac or you can do something like Steam Link or like cloud gaming to try to access it through the Vision Pro headset. I don't actually know much about Mac gaming, if I'm being honest, but I can show you guys the possibilities. So if we log in here, um, we'll have the ability to just pop this Mac up into a massive uh, right there. In fact, I don't even need to do it through the control center. We just have the connect option straight away. So like I said, I don't know too much about Mac gaming, but if it's possible, you can do it right here and it's beautiful. Um, trackpad, everything works. Now, unlike the iPad and iOS apps where we do maintain our touch controls, that is not the case for the Mac. We do need to use our trackpad and our keyboard. All right. And last but not least, we can obviously access Steam Link, which is found on the iPad store. And I already have Pal World already booted up. And <laughs> just like that, from the gaming PC that's over there in the corner, we are playing Pal World. This is actually pretty insane. I have it right in front of me as if I had a computer monitor, but you guys know we can definitely take this way, way further to the next level. Now, I wanna put the controller down actually and just show you how seamless, like we, we just put our hands on the keyboard and mouse and it just went, you know? Let's get our beacon out so we can start flying around. And, uh, you know, I kind of want to take this to the next level. So let's put this up on the big screen. You know, perhaps we, uh, there we go. That looks a little bit more like Pal World. Right above the big mountain. There we go. Now we're talking. Dude, this is so crazy. 
and we can make it even bigger. This might be a little bit excessive, but you know, sometimes that's where the fun is. Did I kill it? No, oh, I killed it. No headshot, no headshot, no. I want to be the first person ever to capture a pal. There we go. All right, might have used a Gigasphere, that's okay. There we go, the first ever pal caught inside the Vision Pro. I mean, this does look good, but obviously for a more refined resolution, we can get rid of this. We can bring it nice and close. And that's still pretty big, so we can size that down. And then boom, it's like we have like a 4K monitor right in front of us. All right, well, there you guys go. That was gaming with the Apple Vision Pro. Tons of fun, whether it's apps made for the headset, iPad apps, or even computer games you're playing across Steam Link. It's a ton of fun. Playing in the environments is a really, really cool experience. And I want you guys to let me know below which game you liked watching the most in the Apple Vision Pro. That is all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you guys next time.